Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a review of the Martinez Tools M1 uh, Titanium Framing Hammer. So let's get started. So for a little background on this hammer, um, this hammer was designed by Mark Martinez and he was the original designer and um, sort of uh, pioneer in the titanium hammer industry. He created the stiletto uh, framing hammer. Long story short, he sold that company to Milwaukee and he started his own uh, company, Martinez Tools, and he designed this hammer. He sort of took the flaws of the stiletto and basically improved on that design and came up with this design. Basically, it's a titanium uh, shaft that runs you know, all the way to the end of the handle. And then it's got a steel head that has a, a uh, bolt right here that can be taken out. And you can take this head off and you can you know, replace it or put on a trim head that he's also got and a sledge head. And then it's got a handle that's also replaceable, or you can you can uh, change it out if it you know yourself if it gets um, damaged or whatever. Some of the flaws of the st stiletto included, you know, not um, having a head head that's replaceable, so the claws would break off or whatever would happen, and you need an entirely new hammer. In this case, if your claws break or if you just want a new a new head, then you can swap out this head, and your nice expensive titanium is. You still have that, so um, you don't have to buy an entirely new piece of titanium. On the stiletto as well, the handle was not um, replaceable. You'd have to actually send it into stiletto, and they would put a new handle on. I'm not totally sure if the new stiletto, the TB3, if they're if that handle is replaceable. I didn't check. I know that has some improvements, so uh, let me know in the comments if you know the answer to that. But um, the TB2, you could not replace the handle, and also the face would would swivel because it had a replaceable steel face with a pin right in the middle that you could take out and swap the face out. That would spin and it would cause the nail set, you know, slot right there to um, be misaligned. So now obviously that's not an issue anymore um, with this hammer. So let's go over a couple of the things that I like about this hammer. So first off, my initial uh, impressions, my very first thing I noticed when I picked it up was the way that just the, the grip, the way that the, the grip felt in my hand is really, really nice. It's got super grippy rubber material with this kind of, you know, uh, pattern with some grooves in there. It's got a little divot for your thumb and just, it's just the perfect size and shape and feel. It just feels so nice in the hand. It's not, you know, overly textured or overly, doesn't have any weird, you know, big, like, um, swells for your hand or whatever if i spin it around to use the claw it feels very similar it doesn't have a you know it doesn't feel weird in the hand they also make a uh, curved handle which i have another hammer here that has that curved handle one of the guys on their crew has this one so you've got a little bit more of a comfortable grip down at the bottom but myself i find that if uh if i'm holding the hammer like this to use the claws which i use which I, I do a lot then you know this kind of is the most comfortable way to hold it. So I like the straight handle. If you're comparing this hammer to the to the stiletto, which I've only swung a stiletto a couple times, the stiletto feels really light. It's a super light hammer, and it's definitely a nice hammer as well. But this hammer if is, is a lot more weight forward with the steel head. You'll notice right off the bat that it's got a, you know, it's heavier towards the top. And so it feels a little bit more, I don't know if I want to say awkward, but it feels a little bit strange if you're used to certain hammers or coming from, you know, a, a uh, stiletto. So because of that weight in the head and just the whole, the way it's, you know, proportioned with the, the steel and the titanium and just the, the whole weight, for some reason it just is amazing at driving nails. It's actually really, really cool how much of a difference there is between some of my other hammers that I've had and this one. It uh, just, it's hard to explain, but when you hit nails, it just, they just love to go in. It just, it just sinks nails like crazy. There's like no hand shock at all. You um, hit a nail, it like basically feels like you haven't hit anything. It's like, just like you hit a nail, it just boom, it goes in. It's like, wow. It's hard to explain. It's something you have to basically experience for yourself. But yeah, it's it's a really comfortable, it's a great swinging hammer. It, uh, you know, I've had it for about a week and a half now. 
almost two weeks and super happy with it. It uh, definitely is going to hold up well. The steel in the head is a pretty, it's a really hard steel. And there's been some, I think it's pretty rare, but there's been a, peop, a couple of people who have broken a claw off. And of course, they'll send you a brand new head immediately if you do have that problem. But I think this uh, this uh, steel is really hard, so it's brittle. Um, I, I did a demo on a, this roof. We tore our roof off and replaced it. Uh, about a week ago and I so I put a really a lot of heavy use on this hammer like the day after I got it and I was you know using the claws to rip up you know wood and and smashing the nails and everything and and uh really really abused it a lot actually that day and you can see just I mean a really minor chip right there in the corner um but very minor and also I'm going to mention that I took this claw to a grinder to give it a little bit of an edge to sharpen up that um, I don't have one that doesn't have this so I can't show you what it actually looks like but it's basically just a small bevel it's not a sharp factory and I just ground it a little bit to give it a, a sharp uh, claw because we use them to dig into into logs and pull them and everything so so that might be part of the reason that it chipped but uh usually I experience a lot more chipping and you know bending when I do this to other hammers especially after abuse like this one had the other day so really happy with that i think this is going to hold up well it's going to hold you know that this edge that i put on here it will hold just for day-to-day -day use it'll it'll be a, a long lasting hammer so another big reason why to choose this hammer over the stiletto besides the reasons i mentioned earlier is the fact that stiletto is now manufactured in china and the yeah, martinez m1 is made in the usa so that's a big uh, selling point right there for me, and I think for a lot of people that will be a, a good reason to go with this one if you're gonna if you're in the market for a titanium hammer. Very very high quality tool. It's uh, the the shaft is extremely well made and and is is definitely not gonna bend or twist or break or crack. It's got a super rigid. Uh, it's basically kind of like an I beam in there, and it's going to hold up really well. The side nail puller is awesome. The stiletto had one as well. I've, this is the first hammer that I've had with one, and it's just, I use it all the time. It pulls nails out without any problem. Just just rips nails out so, so fast and easy. So if you're trying to decide if this is an investment that you want to make, you know, a $240 hammer, um, it's definitely not something that everyone is going to be justified to buy. I would say that if you're, working in, in construction or um, carpentry, then this is something that to definitely consider. You know, you kind of have to look at it like it's a tool that you use every single day. It makes you money. It's something that, you know, if you buy this, this specific hammer, you're probably never going to buy another hammer again. This will probably last you your whole life. If it does break, you know, for whatever reason, um, they'll send you a brand new one. It's The warranty is, is awesome. It's uh, an investment to yourself. To your business, you know, if you have these tools in your in your personal arsenal, you kind of are showing yourself, you know, to your your boss or to potential employers that you know you're, you take your job seriously. You don't buy crappy tools. You have quality tools that you can, you know, have confidence in. So, you know, in the end of the day, it's it's up to each person. But for me, it's it's a no brainer. Because of what I do, I use it every single day. So, you know, I'll, I'll probably use it for the rest of my life. And uh, I think it was definitely a good investment. So, yeah, I, I love this hammer overall. I think it's an awesome swinging hammer. Probably the best feeling hammer I've ever, I've ever held. Super awesomely balanced. And it drives nails super well. So, we're going to drive some nails with it. And demonstrate how that looks. And you can decide if it's something that you guys... Uh, want to invest in. We've got a piece of pretty hard 2x4 right here. Drive some nails into it.
nice. Yeah, it's just an awesome swinging hammer. If you notice, it also has a little bit of a slanted face uh, inward. And I'm not sure what I think about it yet. I think it probably helps a little bit because when you're actually swinging, you're a lot of the time you're at less than a 45 degree angle. You know, sometimes you're also at more than a 45. So, you know, it might be a plus. So yeah, that's the demonstration of the Martinez M1. So that's been the review of the Martinez Tools uh, M1 framing hammer. If you're interested in this hammer, hit the link in, this, in the description. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.